this is an MS mic inside. And MS means mid-side. And a mid-side mic is an array of a cardioid facing forward and a bidirectional mic as close as possible to it. Now, I didn't cover bidirectional in the patterns. Um, bidirectional is the natural pattern of a ribbon mic. Um, bidirectional mic has two lobes. They're equal. Okay? Like that. Here's, so here's the, uh, the mic body. And they usually go out the sides. Um, like that. It's a side addressed mic. Now you can have a, a mic that's side addressed or end addressed, depending on how it's designed. Um, and uh, anyway, a bidirectional mic has two lobes and a very wide and very deep rejection. So the bidirectional is is the premier mic for when you want to reject something, <laughs> because it'll you can really tune something out with that. Um, not used much in the field except as part of MS arrays. Um, an MS array, you combine that with a cardioid mic, which has this lobe that comes out like this, okay, and um, this gives you um, what's called a mid-channel and a side-channel, and the mathematics of combining those two patterns is that if you take, of course, these two lobes are out of phase with each other, not that that matters in terms of hearing things because the sound that's coming in this side is never coming from the other side, you know, so they don't, there's no interference problem. Um, but when you sum the two mics, like the two channels, like this, so you take the S, this is called the S channel, this is called the M channel, okay, and when you sum M plus S, you get your left stereo channel, and it's the equivalent of a cardioid mic facing this way, like 45 degrees to the left. If you take the difference between the two channels, you subtract this one from this one, which you see the same as adding the negative, actually. Subtracting is like adding the negative. So you take M minus S, that equals right. That equals the equivalent of a cardioid mic facing 45 degrees to the right. In other words, that's what it's going to sound like um, if you add those two channels together or subtract those two channels. So this is functionally equivalent to having two cardioid microphones in what's called XY. Okay, so you've got XY arrays, which is two mics that are put head to head. Um, these aren't cardioids. Let's pretend they're both cardioids. That's an XY array, like that. It's a way of getting stereo in one point. Um, or you have MS, where you have a cardioid mic and a bidirectional mic, like this. The cardioid facing forward, the bidirectional facing the sides. And then the sum and difference give you left and right. Um, why would you want to do that? Well, a couple of advantages. One is that mics aren't as good off-axis as they are on-axis. You know, the I, I was explaining the difference between an expensive mic and a lower quality mic is how good is the off-axis pickup. You know, lower in level, but also what the colorations are. Um, with an XY pair of mics, you're always off axis to both mics for whatever your central focus is. This tends to make kind of a, you know, a, a degradation or a hole in the middle for your, your central focus on an XY pair. MS, you're right on axis to your M mic. So that means you're getting the best focus on whatever you're pointing at. So that's one advantage to using MS instead of XY. Uh, 